Hello, my friends. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you all have a great day. We have got to get busy right away because, holy smokes, I got a lot of empties this month. Holy smokes, I got a lot of empties this month. So I'm just going to get started, and some of them I will just breeze right over because there are things I have talked about before. I got to move my chair back. This bucket's taking up a lot of room. Um, I'll breeze right through some of those things. Okay, so the first thing, of course, I use my Tom's mouthwash. The reason why I use that mouthwash, why? Because those make the insides of my mouth peel, and most of them do. I might as well dig out the other one. I have two of those, okay? Um, I talked about these products in a video, and um, my last empties, I believe, uh, a little mixture that I make up. And this one here, I finished up uh, two bottles of the Collagen C. And I put these uh, in with my cherry juice and my hyaluronic acid, and I just give it a good swig. Uh, these work for really, it helps the skin look radiant, uh, gives you thicker hair. My hairdresser has actually said to me, there is such a change in your hair right now. And I have all this new growth. I mean, and it's not breakage because it's all the same uh, length. So I have all this new growth of hair, which I'm happy because I have been noticing a little bit with menopause that my hair is starting to thin out. Not where it's gonna be a problem for me, but still thinner than normal. And uh, this helps give you stronger nails, uh, healthier joints, and it's lots of antioxidants in there. So two bottles of that were finished, and I believe in this little thingy dingy, I have a hyaluronic acid also. All right. So let me talk about some supplements because many people always ask me about supplements or they'll ask me what I'm doing for menopause. I do not take any hormones for menopause, no bioidentical hormones, no synthetics, nothing. Um, that is a choice that I have made for myself. Uh, heart disease and breast cancer are in my family, not really interested. I'm not a drug person. I will fight tooth and nail. I was so happy they took me off my asthma medication because it was making my bones too brittle and my um, asthma is so mild that they felt that the bone damage that was happening because of my inhaler was worse than my asthma. And I don't have any asthma attacks, so we're good, for, we're good to go. All right, so I take black cohosh, and the company I use is Gaia. I take black cohosh, this is healthy, female reproductive reproductive function. They say that this helps with hot flashes. I have I have had in the last three months a lot of hot flashes, but I think that they are less than they would be had I not been taking these. And remember with any supplement, it's just like skincare. You have to take it four to six months for your body really to absorb it and to start to work. I also take a woman's balance, which is for um, optimizes female hormone balance. And it has a little more black co-wash in it and some all natural herbs. And then this one here I was taking because they said, I am finding out if you are a woman going through menopause and your skin just itches like crazy, it is hormonal. Don't let them tell you it's just hives, okay? Because I've been suffering over a year now and things are starting to fall together and I finally have figured it out that it is hormone, hormone, hormone loss. It's the loss of hormones into my body. My skin can't handle it. It's getting drier and drier. Imagine one day you won't be able to see me because like a prune, I will have shriveled right up. <laughs> All right, so I take nettle leaf because in my research, I have found that this is for inflammatory response, but I have found that women have had good luck drinking nettle tea. Now I can't drink the tea because it just tastes horrendous to me, but if you can drink the tea, drinking nettle tea a couple times a day, I just to, uh, chose to go the supplement route. So I take that and that's only my second bottle. So I, I'm hoping to see something in my next bottle, which I'm working on now. And then uh, Louie and I both take a once daily probiotic and I break this open and put it in our smoothie. And this is by Garden of Life. This is doctor formulated. This is the 30 billion. Now for this month, I bought the 90 billion and it's just probiotics for a healthy gut, okay? So I do take those supplements. I have one other that I take here. What is this? Oh, this is another of the probiotics uh, because Louie and I both take it. So we go through a bottle a month. They're expensive, but um, I'm finding I can't eat yogurt anymore. That's another thing. The gynecologist said that a lot of women that will end up going through menopause will become lactose intolerant. I love my yogurt. That was how I got a lot of my calcium. All right, so 
I take a calcium su supplement, but we all know that calcium is best absorbed through the foods we eat, okay? So another thing that I take is a prebi prebiotic fiber, and it's a five grams of prebiotic fiber. It's vegan, non-GMO, certified gluten-free, organic. It's by the Garden of Life, doctor-formulated organic fiber. I put a tablespoon of this in my smoothies, and I put a little less in Louis. But uh, it's good to have a good balance there. All right, so let's talk about some body products. Uh, in, at each of my sinks, I have a Mrs. Meyers Clean Day hand soap. I like these because there are no chemicals in them, so they're very non, they're non-drying. And my hands are a mess, my nails are a mess because of my dry skin. Everything is falling apart. So this has been really nice, and this is the rosemary scent. It smells really nice. They have all different scents. You can find these at Target. You can get them online. Uh, everything will be listed and linked below for you. And um, I really, uh, I do like it, okay? I finished up one of my go-to fragrances is the Burberry Original. I will always have a bottle of this. It is a perfect everyday fragrance. It is nice to wear around people that have problems with scents because it's such a lovely, mild fragrance. It has no bite. It is just very, very clean and simple. It's a beautiful fragrance. So, and I've been wearing that since it was created because I worked for the company and they gave me the very first bottle in my area. And uh, I don't know what that noise is. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if you heard it, but I heard it. Anyway, so um, always have a bottle of that. I finished up my Bioderma, and usually uh, Joelle, has, she's perfect at timing the um, basket, the box that I get, and I must have went through it much quicker this time. I think it's because I do a lot more videos, so I'm, I'm using my makeup more and I'm removing it more. Um, so I bought one from Beautylish that has the, um, you can press down on it and the solution comes up. It's a little tricky to use that. It sprays all over the place, but I love the Bioderma. Absolutely love it. Before we could not get it anywhere. Um, and, um, I just love it. And I've been very fortunate. Joelle has always sent it to me through the years that it was difficult to find. All right. I have tons and tons of oils that I have gone through. Uh, one oil that I went through is bio oil. Uh, for years, I used this on my neck. I don't feel it's enough anymore. Um, but I have been using this on my body. As soon as I turn the shower off, I'll squirt some bio oil on me for the dryness. Um, I just have a bunch of bottles of it because it's always been something I've used. So I've been using that up. So that goes on my skin. It actually has helped a lot. Now this one here is the Aven. Joelle sends me all of this. I'm out of this one. And I will tell you, this one's nice too, and I do the same thing. While my skin is still wet, this is the best time to put an oil or a, a, a moisturizer on, but basic, really an oil because while your skin's damp, it absorbs more. So this is really um, when I put this on. I'll just lather myself up with this oil in the shower, and then I will towel dry myself. But this one here, I also was reading that it's very good for people with eczema. And this is the Aven body oil. And Aven has their own Othamel water in it, which makes it very special. And then I have talked about this. I buy the gigantic sizes now. I absolutely love it. We'll never be without it. And it is the uh, L'Occitan shower oil. It's their cleansing and softening shower oil. This has been a godsend for my skin. I know a lot of people save it for shaving. No way. For me, it's going all over the place. Now, I do, I damp a, a sea sponge, and I will uh, dampen it like I would a beauty blender, and I get my skin wet, but then the shower is off, and I will squirt nine little squirts of this. Well, I have a pump, so I do nine pumps, and that's enough to lather up my whole body, and you can tell the difference this has such a creamy lather. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. If you are somebody that really loves that, buy it from the L'Occitane site. They sell it in the pump 16-ouncer, and sometimes they run deals. You get really good, good spots. I had to make sure I had my microphone on. I thought, if I don't have my microphone on, and I already started this, I'd be really mad. Another one that you've seen me go through for months and months is the Eucerin. This is for eczema. It's a nice, thick cream, so I like that. Uh, this one was a new one this month that I tried because I liked coconut oil, but the coconut oil you cook with, 
is very greasy to me and I don't care for the feel on my skin. I don't like it as a hair moisturizer. My hair does not respond well to coconut oil. Many people have great success with it and uh, you know I'm not saying because I don't like it you shouldn't try it. Go ahead and try it. But my store had a pure, my health food store, had a pure fractionated liquid coconut oil and it was light nourishing and it promoted healthy skin. This was really nice. I am absolutely going to get another one one because it made my skin very soft without that greasy feel. I only use these oils heavily at night. During the day I use them very thin with moisturizers because I don't want the greasiness all over my clothes and I know when I've worn too much because it shows up on my bra there's an oil stain so I know I'm putting too much on them. All right, another hand cream that I, uh, hand wash that I have that I liked, and this one will be hard to find because I've only found it once at TJ Maxx, and it was by Organic Surge, and you know that I like a lot of their shower gels. This is their Tropical Bergamot Hand Wash. If you see a bottle of it, grab it. Very, very nice. Loved it. Um, now, this is something they actually look disgusting, but I wanted to bring them on and talk about it because... Uh, I have excessively dry feet. I always have, but now they are even worse. It's even hard. I mean, I, I don't know how much detail you want, but I know there's other women that go through the same things that I'm going through. And I think it's important to share. I can't even grow my toenails. They are shredding. They are cracking. They are peeling. They are ugly. It's embarrassing because, you know, we do go to Florida and even though I have a pedicure, it looks gross. It really looks terrible. So I decided to try some of these moisturizing, and this is by oh, Miss Alta, the moisturizing gel infused spa treatment socks. At first I thought these feel really funky. I'm not sure I like this, but they have little grippers on the bottom and you do get used to it. And as soon as I would get out of bed, I would put these on my feet. And then as soon as I was done for the day, I would put these on my feet and I would walk around and these were my slippers. Now they get really nasty. I think you can wash them, but I'm not going to because the inside wears out and they get all grungy. And, um, but they have a gel infused with rose oils, all kinds of oils in them. And they're not greasy when you take them off. Your feet are, it's magic. It really is. Now it doesn't last forever, but it is a great way to infuse your feet with a lot of nutrients to help the skin. So I'm going to get another pair of these. I'm going to go to Ulta either today or maybe later tomorrow and grab another couple of pair of these because I really love them. They smell just like roses. So if you don't like the smell of roses or you have an irritation to roses, you may not want to buy these, but when they're on their, your feet, you really can't smell it, you know? Okay, so let's see. Toothpaste, the only toothpaste I can use, Sensodyne Pro Enamel. I can use the gentle, gentle whitening in this. Um, it doesn't make my insides and my mouth peel. Another moisturizer that I finished up that Joelle sent me, and this one was really nice. This was ultra soothing for the really dry, itchy spots. And this is the uh, Adoderm PO Zinc Cream. Now, in the past, you've seen I have the big pumps of the Adoderm, Adoderm PP Moisturizer. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And this one is for very irritated, dry, sensitive skin. So if you come across this or you're in Canada, I say give it a try. <coughs> All right, I did finish up two of the hyaluronic acid. I take a tablespoon a day of the hyaluronic and then a tablespoon of the um, collagen and then a tablespoon of my tart cherry juice. And I mix them all in about six ounces of water and I plug my nose and I guzzle. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, the hyaluronic acid I just got because my skin is so, so dry. And this is really good at hydrating for supple skin, joints, and your eyes. And I do get the dry eye syndrome, so um, not real bad. But when I wear contracts, they get really, really dry. So I thought, well, it's not hurting that either. All right. Two, uh, I finished up a Kerastase Elixir Ultime Shampoo. Joelle has sent and introduced me to all of the Kerastas. It's a beautiful line, beautiful, beautiful, very expensive, not necessary to get good results, okay? It is not necessary. I think, I don't even think these are sulfate free, but you get incredible shine. My hair responds really well to them. They are expensive, but I mean, there are other shampoos that you can buy that really give you the same results, but to splurge, treat yourself special, 
fabulous. I will always have a Kerastase hair product, always. Uh, okay, so the next item is the Gentle Foaming Cleanser by Epionce. And this is a really nice line. It smells really spa-like, very, not fruity in a sickening way, but very clean, fruity smell. And um, I bought a couple of products in this line. And this one I finished up, and I used this in the shower, but I did test to see how it was at removing makeup. It's not really good at totally removing makeup, but it, that isn't usually why I get a gentle foaming cleanser. I use this as my second cleanse. So after I have removed with my Bioderma or a, a cleansing oil or whatever I'm using, when I get in the shower, I will wash my face again. This has a very low sudsing, um, but it leaves your skin feeling moist. It doesn't leave it parched and that's what I look for in any cleanser. Now if you're somebody who is drier you should be leaning towards a creamy cleanser or an oil cleanser over a gel cleanser. A gel cleanser will be more uh, drying on the skin even though I do have a couple of gel cleansers that I like uh, but this one is very nice. Okay so I, I have that and then I have a couple of masks that I did use up. Um, some of them are eye masks. This is by Institute Estoderm. It's their repair system. You're supposed to use so many masks a week and then wean off of them. I just use them whenever I feel like it. And I do like them. And these just are eye contour lift patches by Institute Estoderm. Uh, I used to be able to buy these locally at wholesale and now they've discontinued carrying the Institute Estoderm line but they got the Revitalash in, so I was happy about that because I'm happy to buy Revitalash at wholesale. So I did like them, and I've had them for a very long time, and I will probably always, I use eye masks all the time, all the time. All right, so a couple of face masks that I finish up. I really like these Dr. Jart masks. There was a firming solution, excellent. I loved the brightening infusion. And then the Boscha line or the Bosca line, uh, the Tezuki Oil Deep Hydration Hydro Hydrogel Mask. Very, very nice. Loved it. This one here I really liked because it was for the neck. And it's just a neck mask. It's not really a face. You put it on and it goes all the way down here in your decollete. And I think that's fabulous because um, a woman can do anything she wants to her face, but your neck and your hands are going to show your age. So you need to pay attention to both. But anyway, this is by um, the Karuna Luxe line, and this is their Skin Regenerating Night Mask, a neck mask, I'm sorry. I loved it. It's for aging, dry, sensitive skin. Oh, well, I don't know why I was using it. Aging, dry skin? <laughs> perfect for me, absolutely perfect. And um, has a lot of good ingredients in it, and I bought these at Sephora. If you look on the back there, it's just something that drapes and you just lay it on your uh, neck and it goes a little bit down to the decollete. It doesn't cover the whole decollete, but it's a really, I'll get them. I'll have more of them. Yes. Now this mask really surprised me. Oh, I got another food item. Let me show you that. Uh, I use, this is by Berry Products. I ordered it online. It's a freeze dried black raspberry powder. I use this in our smoothie. Um, Lou and I both suffer from reflux, and there are studies that show that black raspberry powder ha actually helps with Barrett's esophagus. They're still doing studies on it, but uh, I have been using this for years now. I will continue to use it for years because, um, not that Louis would want me sharing this with you, his reflux was actually doing some damage, and then when he had his next scope, I had changed many things in his diet and, and started adding um, this powder because I read articles about it and um, his damage uh, there's no damage anymore so I'm not saying whether it was this or not but it's something for you to research if you have reflux very bad and reflux should not be taken lightly because Barrett's esophagus is esophageal cancer okay so we need to we need to keep our esophagus healthy too so don't ignore heartburn and reflux at all all right, now, uh, I'm going to talk about another mask, and this was really wonderful. You know that I talked about Essence in a video a while ago and how they have uh, formulated these to have much smaller molecules so that the hyaluronic acid can actually penetrate into deeper levels, and that's what all these Essences are coming uh, that are coming out. Their molecules are made much smaller so that they really go into the skin. Well, this one is by, the first Essence I used was the Treatment Essence from Misha. 
love it. I, are, I have another bottle of it. I'm using a different one right now, but, and I love the one I'm using right now. But these masks by Misha, they are called the First Treatment Essence Mask Time Revolution. I'm ordering more. These, my skin, the way I use these is I did a deep peel. And when I say a deep peel, I use the BC, BC, B-I-S-S-E, their glycolic peel, and uh, that means business, okay? I do that peel, and then I'll put one of these masks over it. Oh, my goodness, my face looks phenomenal. It really does. And many of you have been commenting on my skin. I'm going to do an updated skincare because I have changed many things in my skincare. All right, so uh, those are my masks. Now, here is my poo-poo product. And I demonstrated this, this blender from Dream, from the Dream Blender for the new Maybelline Velvet Foundation. Don't waste your $5 on it. It is so stupid. Use your beauty blender or buy the um, Real Technique sponge. All right, now here's a product that I used. It's an essence. And I bought this because it was also, in the article I was reading, it was suggested. And uh, many people talk about this. I have to tell you I'm sitting on the fence about this one. I don't know if perhaps I needed to use a couple more bottles to really see a difference, but I will tell you that in bottle to bottle, uh, the Misha to me beat this one out, and the one that I'm using now beats this one out. And it is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I'm, I'm going to give it. Uh, I'm going to be fair and say that I only used this small bottle, and. I am a firm believer that you have to use something for a couple of months to really see its benefits. But I will tell you, my first bottle of Misha was probably this big for less than $40. This is $99 for this tiny little bottle. And the Misha, I felt, instantly gave me some more moisture when I got out of the shower. This one, I didn't feel that. Now, right now, I'm using the May Coupe Raw Sauce. It is phenomenal. I love it. Love it. All right? We'll get into that in my favorites. All right? That is it for my empties. What did you finish this month? What will you continue? Oh, I got an eyelash hanging out on my face here. Uh, what did you finish this month? What was something that was mm, only so-so this month for you? Like the, I, I know many of you use the SK2 and love it. And tell me, did you love it immediately or did you have to use several bottles? Because I think for $99, this is really expensive for this small amount, all right? All right, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. You know I love you all. I do. Bisous.